Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel in Montum Sanctum. We live in the Western world in a, a largely a, a consumer culture where um, the individual and the value of the individual and the family as a unit is only seen as a, uh, an object of exploitation. We very often don't see the subtleties of advertising and how it seeks to study human psychology at its weak and vulnerable points and to exploit those vulnerabilities within the human person. Uh, on a superficial level, for example, you go shopping into the, to the supermarket and you see how the company has placed uh, strategic points, things to attract your attention, things that you, you uh, so that you think that by uh, buying them, uh, you have got a bargain. And so often what happens is you fall for it and then when you get home you think, why have I bought that? Did I really uh, need it? No. But uh, so um, those uh, organs or means of uh, communicating uh, subtly um, to us by this form of uh, advertising are very powerful. But uh, how can you and I as a Christian uh, uh, navigate ourselves around these uh, pressures? Because uh, the Gospel says quite clearly that we are where your treasure is there will your heart be also. So, um, of course, we all need um, uh, things to make our lives uh, comfortable, uh, but so often um, advertisers seek to exploit uh, our need for something more than basic needs. Uh, there's a whole difference between uh, what I think uh, I want and what I really need, but often the distinction for some people is so uh, blurred and indistinguishable so that uh, they are consumed being a consumer. But, uh, and uh, this is a very subtle thing, and we, I think, my friends, must be um, constantly looking at and uh, examining our own uh, motivations because, as a Christian, one wants to lead a life that is free as much as possible from the pressures of a society that places a material. Uh, possessions above the spiritual. Uh, so um, we waste so much time. Uh, we can on the, what shall I say, the merry-go-round of desire. And uh, sometimes it's difficult to get off the merry-go-round. The motivation behind all this, these pressures, of course, is that uh, someone wants to make money uh, to tempt you uh, to, to have something that you don't really want. <laughs> and, uh, and they try to convince you that it's something you really need. It's a vicious circle the merry grow round of desire of material uh, possessions that leads round and round and round endlessly 
to nothing. And uh, so we have to be, uh, as Christians, vigilant and resist these subtle pressures, um, often subtle, sometimes they're blatant, uh, of the uh, consumer culture and mentality that devalues the worth of the individual and sees them p uh, purely uh, as a means of exploitation and capitalizing upon something deep within every human being uh, and, uh, and what is that? Well, I suppose fundamentally um, security People mistake uh, um, the accumulation of material objects uh, as a form of security. Well, we all need uh, certain things in life, as I said, but um, we are encouraged, though, to believe uh, that we need more and more and more. But the more we have, the more we are unsatisfied and unhappy. And uh, you see, within every human being, fundamentally, um, there is an emptiness. An emptiness that needs to be filled. And that emptiness can only be filled by that which is not a material, but is spiritual. And if we seek the kingdom of God first, then all of these other things will be given to us as well. Uh, but uh, to not seek the kingdom of God, um, we are lost. So man can only um, find that true fulfillment um, uh, and to and fill his emptiness by the other, by God himself, who knows you and loves you and is aware of all your needs before you ask him, although he wants you to ask him for what you need in prayer. In a sense, prayer is the, the mode of discernment of what we need. It is the purification of desire. It helps us separate the superficial and what we don't want and need from what we really truly need. And only the Lord himself can fill that desire. I know it's hard sometimes to make the right decision uh, any, on any day, the, any day or week, um, uh, to, to have to uh, resist those pressures. but. Uh, the Christian who prays regularly uh, is given that discernment to separate out uh, that which is superficial and of no importance to that which is important and is uh, sufficient for our needs. I do hope, my friend, that uh, you and I together, in prayer, will ask indeed the Holy Spirit to uh, help us to travel light in life, to let go of the baggage of accumulated um, desires that weigh us down, 
sometimes we have to make a leap of faith to let to move on it almost like um, moving away uh, from something that is entangling us and stopping us moving forward towards a uh, freedom inner freedom and peace you see the world can't give you that peace only the lord can give us for the that peace which in the depths of man's inner being he longs for and yet so often he can't find his way out of the maze and entanglement of uh, uh, living in a materialistic culture we are called all of us uh, no matter how blessed we are or not in this world's goods to be generous and kind and realize that everything we have however as simple and humble it is is a gift from god people um sometimes are so far from god that they think that to possess things is happiness and yet deep down there is nothing but unhappiness because they are caught in that uh, that loop that goes round and round and round uh, to nowhere so when uh, uh, you are told that you must have the latest uh, mobile phone or the latest gadget ask yourself do i really need what is being offered um, because you see those um, it's almost as if um, the advertiser is sowing seeds within your thinking um, of desire so what you didn't know you needed now you need for some inexplicable reason and with some people of course sadly those seeds become uh, not just seeds but they grow into uh, addictions which truly do uh, paralyze the individual prayer for the christian is the interpreter of desire it is the means by the illumination of the holy spirit to help us to get our priorities right to live simply to enable us to move forward in freedom and peace because there we will find that treasure that treasure that no earthly uh, person can give us for where my treasure is there will my heart be also and i and you pray that our heart may be truly uh, in the kingdom of god bless you